We want our rail back, Gladys. We really do. Excuse me, Hello, welcome to Hamilton. Hey, Graham. Hello, welcome to Hamilton. Thank you so much. How are you going? Good. Thank you for doing everything you're doing. Yeah. I mean, all the feedback we get is fantastic. Even if they agree or disagree, the staff have been fantastic. So. So Gladys gets to Hamilton and meets up with Steve Thompson, who is the Liberal candidate for Maitland. Steve Thompson is also the President of the Chamber of Commerce at Maitland. And when two pollies get together, it's meet and greet time, especially if there are heaps of people around. Gladys reveals her way of blessing the train, much as her grandmother showed her. God bless her and all who sail in her. The guy in the dark suit, part of his job description today, became ensuring that I couldn't get a shot of Gladys. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 11.51, New, uh, Newcastle to Maitland to Irish service. Warren Tarr will be our first stop. Nick Bilby of the Maitland Mercury got on for an interview on the trip up to Maitland. Nick's paper, the Maitland Mercury, supports the retention of the rail all the way to Newcastle. And we waited. And we waited. Apparently, what Gladys did discuss was that two employees of Maitland Rail had received a commendation for calling the police, and the refit of the new Hunter fleet had been completed, meaning that all carriages had been painted. There was the obligatory photo op. And just to make sure, a second photo op. And finally, Gladys Berejiklian disappeared with Steve Thompson into the heart of Maitland, never to be seen again. One can only wonder what will happen the next time Gladys Berejiklian, Minister for the Hunter and Minister for Transport, returns to Maitland. It's always decisions of governments of the day as to where they run rail services. So the issue of us stopping services at a particular location isn't subject of any of the proceedings because governments can do that, uh, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem.